Pay attention. You wake up and you fight. I yeah, swear to God, I learn this every time. I'm like, Dio's making us to get on the show. Like real life, Drake, Kevin Durant, everybody's in our DM. We uh, we connect. We make a human connection. And when people come on our show, they come on our show as a person you've never seen in the media. And most of the time, y'all might see our clips on ESPN, all these media outlets strip our clips down because we get to the people that a lot of people can't get to. And when they come on and they have a fun, they know our brand, they know our partners, they already know. They ask them about Roman Swipes. They ask them to take a drink from, you know, uh, New Amsterdam Bach, the only Bach. That's my story. <laughs> but they ask them about, you know, Harry's Briggs or M. everything that we do, they know because we don't, we, we, we don't sell as we are as. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we embody what we represent. So if you come on and be a partner, you know, get us a business with a million dollars worth of game, we're gonna amplify your brand. Don't nobody on the planet Earth in media handle ads like us. We say that. Don't nobody yeah. on the planet Earth. I don't care who you got, go get them. Nobody can handle ads like us, but we make love to ads. <laughs> That's what we do. So we want to stay here, we're going to have a talk about Elvin. Okay. I'm married. You make love to ads. <laughs> but that's the next story. But that's what we do. But uh, we appreciate y'all being here. We're going to have a talk with Erica. We don't, you know, you want to hear about us. Yeah, we keep on. What you want to do for right here? Stand up here. Come on, eat up here. Eat up here. No, I don't need to stand up here. All right, good. Cool. All right, good. All right, so how'd you start? Uh, what happened was, for y'all that don't know my story, this is my cousin. He was a, uh, a rapper in the industry. While he was rapping in the industry, I was doing 20 years in prison. I went to prison when I was 17, and I came out when I was 37 for two armed robberies and two firearm violations. When I come home from prison, I used to be on Instagram every day, uh, just, just doing my motivation about the, the, the comeback, you know, about how you come back from life after life kick your ass, and uh, you're not what you went through, you know? It's bigger than that, so. And I used to push that, and then me and him used to always be together. This is my, this is my favorite cousin. It's about 30 of us as cousins, but me and him always together. And people used to see us always together. They was like, yo, y'all need to start a podcast. Y'all need to start a podcast. We started a podcast with, like, number two the first day out of every podcast in the world. Uh, under Joe Rogan went number two. We started being number one in our music category eight week. Six months later, you know, everybody was knocking on our door. And uh, we decided to call another bar stool, you know, because they made sense for us. You know, it never said anything. Um, make some noise for, uh, yeah. Martin Luther King. Yeah, first of all, we just want to give thanks to Barstool, you know, Erica, Dave, you know, they really came in and really didn't play no games. You know, they are measurers of tomorrow. You know, y'all, y'all seen the vision and y'all wasn't just going off what we had going on. Y'all was going off in three years, you guys are going to be big. You guys are going to be fucking huge. And I remember you saying to me, and we're at this point now where we are big, and we are huge, and we just want to thank Barstool Sports for believing in us, you know what I mean? And taking that shot, you know, and really backing us in, and just really letting us do what we do. And stand out our way and saying, you guys have been doing what you've doing to this point, you've been successful, just do what you guys do. So we want to, first and foremost, we want to thank Barstool Sports for believing in us. Yeah. We just, we just get the interviews that people can't get because we don't set down landmines. Say, hold, hold on the conversation, they ain't right talking, please. You know, when, people, when people come to us, you know, they don't got to worry about us, you know, setting them up in the trap. They don't, we don't, we don't have to try to use the negative shit that you did to go viral. We just go viral off our personal He's a, you know, he used to do speeches in prison, so he's a lot better. Hey, what else, you know, like that. Talk to him. <laughs> I love Billy. Um, why are brands afraid to advertise with black podcasts? Oh, why are brands afraid to advertise with black podcasts or black folks? So you know what it is? People fear what they don't understand. I'm not going to say systematic racism, some people may, but I believe that um, a lot of people, they just don't know. They don't know, it, and they don't have the partners with them that know how to make that connection, that cultural connection. So they be like, I don't know what to do. Some of them don't even know how to make the introduction sometimes. It don't be like, they just be scared. They don't, they don't know how to connect. Where do I find them? How do I connect? So uh, they just don't know sometimes. But I think, you know, I think a lot of people need to reach out more and start connecting. Like, we human beings, man. 
Uh, and uh, one thing about Pagan Island Family Game, we don't care what color you are, sexual identity, we don't care about that. We deal with humans. We connect with human beings, and that's who we are. And I think when brands start realizing that, stop looking at people as color, it's like, listen, man, at the end of the day, it don't make money, it don't make money. If it ain't business, if it don't make money. You know, and if you don't bring value to value, you value to value, he bring it value. Like, do you want to sell shit to our community? Because obviously black people buy a lot of shit. Like, stop the bullshit. Stop bullshit, stop playing games, you know, and figure out ways you can partner up with black, you know, when black outlets is doing this shit. You know, and that's what it's about. But uh, you know, like, I just think a lot of people don't know. They don't have departments that, like, a lot of these companies there, they don't have no black people in there, you understand? So they don't know how to connect with million dollars in the game. Some of them even watch it. They don't know how to say, oh, damn, all we gotta do is get the bar stool. You know what I mean? What do your white friends know how to connect with us? You know what I'm saying? We, we a family over at Boris Group, it's all type of colors and sexual identities and shit, you know what I mean? But people don't understand it. They just look at things, they be like, oh, I don't know that. Or if you, they don't understand it, they won't ask questions of, man, what do this mean? What are they saying? Why do they connect so much? Because we got all type of people that watch our show. You know, I think, I think it's just about lack of understanding, you know? And how would you overcome that? What's your advice? Uh, uh, just connect, go out to different conferences, uh, connect with some of your friends. Because everybody got a friend that's connected to somebody that's in the company that they, that they would, you know, somebody with the college with, just connect or reach out. Like, is that what you're doing? You've been half for me and I'll rub again. I'm going to tell you something about the way I'm sure about it. <laughs> it's distilled five times. Five. Uh, it's filtered three times. Three, three, three. For that clean crisp finish. Yes. So if you know you have a bad day, life ain't going your way. Shout out to the new Amsterdam vodka. Caught your wife cheating the day. You went to your vodka. You thought a wire was coming to your bank account and it didn't come your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam vodka. Right, the official vodka bar school sports and being on the perfect game is crazy pre-game. Oh my god, you got the finals right now. You got hockey, you got baseball. What are you doing? You know about make sure you get you some New Amsterdam vodka, you know? And then I mentioned it was this still five times you can drink with anything, straight up. On the rocks, juice, soda, or you can make a classic new engine in the world. This episode of the Million Dollar Perfect Game is brought to you by Roman Swipes. There's a lot of guys that I see, there's a lot of guys that I see in this audience is coming up short when it comes to getting in the game. And you're wondering to yourself, why, why is she always looking at me this way or is she giving me an attitude? You're coming up short. You always get in the game, you never make it to halftime. A lot of times you, you don't make it to the second quarter. What you need to do is, you need to use Roman swipes. One thing about Roman swipes, you crack it open, you wipe it on, you're all too racist. You're all too racist. Listen, you wipe it on, let it dry, and you're gonna make her fly. I'm telling you, I got you What you need to do if you wanna get this right now, we got a special for you. All our, all our listeners on Made Out Perfect Day, we're gonna hook you up right now. We wanna get you back with your woman. All you need to do is go to romanswipes.com slash game, use the code, and listen, man, we're gonna change your life. Listen. Have you ever seen a woman go in the dark with Roman swipes? She'd blow anywhere you want to go.